What is going on everybody? So I am back today to talk about a Shudder original film that a lot of people have been talking about. That is Phil Tippett's Mad God. This is a film that I saw the trailer for and was immediately interested in this movie because of the visuals. It's astounding. It looks incredible. And I know that it says that this movie took 30 years to make between productions and halts in productions and loss of finances. And so I was really excited to see this movie and I was pleasantly surprised by it. I thought it was really good and I look forward to talking about it in the review. Mad God is directed by Phil Tippett. Follow the assassin through a forbidden world of tortured souls, decrepit bunkers and wretched monstrosities forged from the most primordial horrors of the subconscious mind. Every set, creature, and effigy in this macabre masterpiece is handcrafted and painstakingly animated using traditional stop-motion techniques. Mad God is a labor of love, a testament to the power of creative writ, and an homage to the timeless art of stop-motion animation. Ready your eyes, ready your spirit, prepare to meet your maker. So I was really looking forward to seeing this movie, and as the plot description states, that really is the entire plot. There's no dialogue in this movie other than some mumbling and some some quick moments where you can try to make out some things that are said but for the most part you have this character of the assassin who is just moving through this world and you're seeing these different creatures and this, these different set designs and that's really the whole part of the film. You can pull symbolism out that might be a commentary on society or on humanity as a whole but I feel like for the most part this really is just meant to be a visual spectacle and it is super impressive. The stop motion animation in this film is absolutely gorgeous. There were some moments in this where I was just scratching my head and saying how did they even manage to pull this off. There's all these moving eyeballs and limbs and these creatures look so horrifying. It's like a really truly disturbing hellscape and it really kind of made me uncomfortable some of the moments which is great and I'm a big fan of surrealist art house cinema I've always loved those types of films and so that kind of scratched that itch for me but unfortunately I did not love this film and the reason why is I feel like it's really obvious that you can tell that this took so long to produce because there's a lot of things that are shoved in there that seem like they try to just connect the different pieces of the story together to try to coherently form a narrative and it doesn't 100% work. There's these cutbacks to where you can tell that there's live action people put in and it's so jarring and sometimes it looks really cheap compared to how beautiful the stop motion animation is. And so that those moments of the film kind of pulled me out where I wasn't as interested. The score to this film is haunting and beautiful and it really keeps you along for the ride but there's so many really incredible images in this that are seared into my brain. There was this moment where these they, they look like people, I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, that were being made into, in this machine. And they're walking out of this machine and they start doing labor around the machine. For some of the machines that are moving like these steamrollers, just plow over them and kill them like they're nothing. And obviously you can see that as like a commentary on the workforce. People will work their lives away and businesses don't care about them enough to where they'll just run them over and treat them like they're nothing. And there's a lot of little things you can pull out of it from that, but those visual elements are so beautiful. There's this sequence in the third act that there's these weird looking almost like spider creatures in this like almost like Alice in Wonderland looking vibrant colorful, beautiful scenery that just really stuck to my brain because a lot of this film, despite how beautiful and gorgeous the cinematography is, it's very muted as far as the color palette is. It's very dark and dreary and awful as it's supposed to be. It's creating that atmosphere for you. It wants you to feel uncomfortable. It wants you to feel gross. But having that moment in that like bright, vivid area with all those weird creatures really added to it. There's a scene where our lead character, the assassin at one point, gets kidnapped and it kind of jumps to where there's this scene where it's these doctors are like drilling into his head and then you see him again where it's kind of implied that it's them looking into his memories but it sort of jumps all over the place that it's really hard for you to 100% piece it together and the only real introduction you're given into this world is there's this really long scrolling text at the beginning that looks like it's a Bible verse at the bottom. I feel like that's, you know, there could be a thousand implications you could make about what Phil Tippett was going for, but I really feel like 
as a whole, he was just trying to show off his skill as a stop motion animator and as a person who could put together something on this large of a scale. And I applaud him because this is a beautiful film. It looks gorgeous. It's so well edited. It's so well put together. It's just those those moments with the real people in there and kind of how the story jumps all over the place. It's a little jarring to where even though it's only like an hour and 25 minute runtime, there were moments where I found myself just getting pulled out, which was unfortunate because I wanted this to be a movie that I loved, that I dived into and just thought was absolutely amazing. And instead it ended up being a movie that I just liked. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. I thought it was really well well done but it was a movie that I just kind of liked so that was unfortunate to me I was hopeful that there was gonna be a little bit more sustenance for me to grab hold to and there wasn't but I will recommend if you have a shutter subscription you should definitely just go check this out because it really is a labor of love and it truly is one of the most unique things you'll probably ever watch because of just how crazy and intricate this stop motion animation is. So have you seen Mad God? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was really good. I thought it had beautiful stop motion animation. I thought it was engaging. There was just moments that pulled me out of it that didn't make me love it. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Yeah.